Hi folks, this is a tutorial to show you how to take the output from the Panos XF fan action and use it with PTE AV Studio 10. This program used to be called PTE or Pictures to EXE, but the name has been changed. Same program, new name. Anyhow, if you don't have the later versions of CC so that you can output the QuickTime movie uh, with output channel, you can still output from um, Photoshop or so on and create individual fan blades and animate them with TEAV Studio 10. Now, let me apologize again for my voice. I had a stroke two years ago, and I had trouble speaking, so bear with me. Once you have created your fan, like you see here, the first thing you need to do is to change the size. It's going to be way too big, so go to image, and then image size, and change the width to 1600 okay and the height should automatically go to about 905 and say okay and now the next thing I'm going to make this a little larger so we can see it I'm just going to zoom there we go now go to file and then to scripts scripts here and then go down and find export layers to file okay click on that export layers to files and then go in and find where you want to put these so i if you created a folder find that folder i'm going to do that here I created a folder called Panos Fan Output here. So I'm going to say OK. And then the next thing, and this is very, very important. Turn off the trim layers. So remove the check mark for trim layers. Leave the check mark on transparency and PNG 24. That's fine. And say run. Now what's going to happen, you see some action happening over here, is this is creating individual fan blades. And because we turned off the trim layers, it's preserving the position of each of these. And so we'll let this finish. Once this is done, we're finished with Photoshop for now. And we'll turn off Photoshop and go into PTEAV Studio 10. Okay, we're done. Then we'll turn this off. And I'll open that PTEAV Studio. And what I'm going to do is open it on the template so you, this will you'll go to the folder you have the template open the PTE file and you'll see what it looks like here now I'm going to run a preview so you can see what it does I have a kitty cat in here and we're going to replace all these fan blades with the kitty cat's picture with fan blades and that have the picture your fish you wrote in this case the dogs so after the pre preview runs, I'll show you what to do. The next thing we want to do is go where it says Objects and Animations. Click there. And then over here, we want to be in the Properties tab. Okay, And down here, you see 
These are all the fan blades. You don't need to worry about the pivot. That won't change. But click on your first fan blade, this number 19 here, see? And then go up here where it says picture, right? And click on the right there. Now we want to go find those blades that you saved to your folder. And so I'm going to go over here and find the folder that I saved them to, which is output. There we go. And I'm going to go and find number 19 here. Okay. And I'm going to open that. And you see it just replaced that fan blade with the one that we want. Now I'll go to 18 and then click here. And I have to make sure I'm in the right folder. Okay. And we'll go to 18. And open that. That replaced the second blade. So we'll go ahead and do this for each one. Make sure you, you get in the right folder. There we go. And you're going to continue to do this. I'll stop here and take up again after I finish, okay? Okay, folks. We've replaced all of the template blades with the blades for our new fan and so now we're going to preview preview excuse on doors and show you how it does there you go so now we have your own image on the fan and it's animated so now this is just part of what you could do the next thing with PTE AV Studio 10 is you, if you want to change the background, it's very simple. All you do is go back into Objects and Animations. And down here where it says Background, you click on that. In the Properties tab, go up here and find a background that you like. Let's see what we can find here. Let's go and find something in... Uh, in the D drive photos let me take a look and see here's a background we can change it there we go a totally new background you can put instead of an image here you could put a video in and also, the nice thing is that up here where you see this frame, frame on here, you can click on that, you can change the size of your fan, move it anywhere you want. You can animate it to move if you want. So we have all kind of capabilities with PTE AV Studio 10 once you have changed your animated fan and put it in the format that you can use with PTEAB Studio. It's a simple process and you can also, if you are using the movie version of CC, you can put the video in here and do the same thing. You can put the video on top of another video, on top of the background image. You can change the size and position and animate it uh, all kind of neat things hopefully this gives you some ideas now I'm going to link you to both the the template that you're going to be using as well as a little uh, RTF file this text like a, a text file to explain what we've done so that those of you who don't speak English 
can translate that into your native language and you can follow along. I think you'll have no problem. Anyhow, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this will help you use Panasys FX Fan uh, in PTE AV Studio 10.